Hi, Dr. Kapil. Mm -hmm. Welcome on your free education. Thank you, sir. Okay, so first of all, I must thank you, Kapil. You spared time for this interaction, and uh, this interaction is about uh, postdoctorate fellowship. So yes. I'm, I'm no, I have started motivating the students who are doing their PhDs, uh, you know, to explore the opportunities for postdoctorate fellowship. Recently, uh, we started doing that on Europedia. Earlier. We were not uh, uh, publishing many videos related to that, but now I have decided that we should uh, inform students about that also. And I started with you, uh, Kapil, since you are already doing your postdoctorate fellowship. So I will be making a series of videos on postdoctorate fellowship. And my this particular video is related to is finding postdoctorate fellowship difficult in foreign universities. That is a you know theme of our today's discussion. So I first uh, want you to tell us about uh, your, uh, you know, present situation, present location. So where you are doing your postdoctoral fellowship in which field of uh, research uh, you are doing that. And before that, uh, from where you've done your uh, PhD. So from where you've done PhD and uh, postdoctoral fellowship in which area you are doing presently, these two things you please uh, share with us. Kapil. Okay, sir. So first of all, I would like to thank you for giving me a chance to speak about this topic and uh, I, I guess it will be, uh, help a lot of students who are already pursuing and finding the positions uh, abroad. So uh, as I have mentioned earlier, uh, I finished my PhD from IIT Roper in 2000, 2021, last year December only. But I, I am currently working as a research associate, which is you know uh, which which is also known as a postdoctoral fellowship. So at Cranfield University, which is in UK near to London. And but I came here as a research assistant because I finished my I submitted my thesis, and so there is a provision if you have submitted a thesis, even then you can join. Mm -hmm. So you will be called a research assistant, and then if you give defense, then you can be promoted to research associate. So that is my overall journey, and my contract here is for two years. So I'm about to finish my one year very soon, like in a couple of weeks time. Mm -hmm. So uh, as uh, as you asked me uh, in which area I'm doing my postdoctoral fellowship, so. I finished my PhD. I worked on uh, humidification, dehumidification, which is like the broad area is thermal desalination. But now again, I am doing the my postdoctoral uh, work in uh, desalination only. But this is a different type of technique. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is all about the work. But uh, along with the along with the project I am working on, I have been given other duties as well, like teaching, admi admissions tutor role. And writing proposals, so all all those kind of work mm -hmm. uh, here at Cranfield, you need to do actually as a postdoc fellow. Okay, Kapil, you know when we talk about BTech, MTech, MS, PhD, it is clearly understood in India that these are degrees. They are the you know courses for which certification is given, degrees given to you. When yeah. we, when it comes to postdoctorate fellowship, uh, yeah. people are not much aware. You know why? Because number one, they are not very clear whether it is a uh, course it is a degree something like phd and all or it is a job or it is a combination of both <clears throat> what do you get after you know do your postdoctoral fellowship and how much is the duration let say hum jante hain mtech 2 saal ka uh, btech 3 4 saal ka phd mein 4 se 5 saal lag sakte hain postdoctoral yeah. fellowship ka duration and postdoctoral fellowship hai kya so very briefly from your side that's a very tricky question to answer but i'll i'll try to explain uh, so postdoctoral fellowship is basically, you know, uh, in PhD, people people say that you learn how to do research. Okay. So you learn how to do research and then you, now you have to do research. Okay. So in postdoctoral fellowship, you, this is the first step uh, where you start doing your research actually. Mm -hmm. uh, you start leading the projects, you start leading the work and you start leading a group, small group or multiple, uh, many group of people. So that's where you start doing research, implementing your own ideas if you have given a chance. But postdoc is, you know, is already you have so much of experience how to quickly, you know, uh, figure out the problems uh, in your research field or how to develop new ideas. That's where your, your role is basically comes as a postdoc fellowship. But if I briefly sum up, uh, so that depends on where you are working your postdoc fellow, postdoctoral fellowship. Mm -hmm. And that depends upon the uh, supervisor you are basically under which you are working. Okay. So just like I mentioned uh, at Cranfield, there are a number of duties you need to perform. You need to you need to write proposals for your land manager. You need to uh, do your research. You need to uh, uh, basically support support the activities uh, for the project you were hired for, mm -hmm. and you need to perform that teaching activities as well. But in some universities, 
only only research is required you need to publish very high quality journals okay. and you need to uh, you need to guide basically the phd students in that group mm. and the duration of the postdoc it depends upon the amount of funding which is available for a for that particular project mm. so suppose if you are a professor in some university in usa and you have got funding only for one year so you, you that fellowship will going to be only for one year mm. but there are chances that you will write proposal and that proposal will be submitted and then you will get more funding so mm. that's how uh, basically the duration matters depending upon the amount of the money mm. ma money money which is available to a professor but as we have been seeing uh, in india when it comes to the recruitment in the nits and iits uh, there is a clear statement that we need the post doctoral experience of 3 years so for engineering if i say for engineering which is uh, which i came to know from my, from my phd supervisors you need to have at least 2 to 3 years of experience not more than that but if you are from science background people do multiple postdoc like 4 to 5 years of postdoc okay. mm. but that depends uh, suppose if you are in uk so you can do postdoc for many years 10 mm. or 12 years or 20 years okay okay now couple coming yeah. to our main uh, uh, you know point which is the theme of this discussion that is is getting postdoc fellowship difficult that is a question to you <laughs> yeah i will i will honestly answer this question yes it is difficult but it is not impossible so there is a there is a very big difference between uh, the thing which is difficult and thing mm -hmm. which is impossible. Mm -hmm. It is not impossible to find a postdoc, but it is difficult because the difficulty uh, which I am highlighting here, you know, you have done a PhD in a particular subject area, mm -hmm. and you are going to uh, find a P find a job. P mm -hmm. I will call a postdoctoral position as job actually. Mm -hmm. So you need to see the people who are basically working in your field. What, how do you uh, basically match your interest, research interest with the research interest of the other person who is sitting in some other university, okay. some other, other organization. Hmm. So first of all, he, he or she should have funding in that area. Hmm. If, if, it, if he or she doesn't have funding, then he will not be able to uh, host you actually. Hmm. So the first thing is that okay. you need to find a suitable employer for yourself hmm. who is working in your field. So that's a, a simple question to answer, but yeah, it is not difficult because uh, if you are, you know, you already are doing PhD in those areas, which are basically people all over the world are doing research. So uh, people keep, you know, like uh, uh, submitting proposals for those, uh, yes. those type of research work. Yes. And, uh, but if you have, I give a specific example. I worked on the thermal desalination. Yes. But my fundamentals are heat and mass transfer. Mm. If I have learned those fundamentals, I am and I have learned some tools. Those fundamentals and those tools can be applied in, in a different field. Mm. So that's how I should find my postdoctoral position. Mm. Okay. So that's a basically okay. a general under, understanding of so how. What I am trying to understand what is the difficult part of it. No doubt, getting anything which is very good is going to be difficult. So very honestly, yeah. to answer yes, it is difficult. But yes, it people are getting it. So that they are putting effort and they are getting it. The example, yes. you are one of the examples. Now, I want to ask you like uh, those who, uh, the kind of difficulty, I'm trying to make some sense here, like getting into PhD is also similar process. When you want to get PhD under the guidance of some professor, you need to have, fun, you know, professor needs to have some funding yeah. and you need to find out the professor who is working in your field. Now, post-doctorate mein waise hi hai, madha PhD maine kiya and I'm going to find some guy who's working in the same area and I'm going to see the professor who is having some funding. Now, funding <coughs> ka pata nahi chalta hai, lekin if the professor is having some project, to he's, uh, you know, coming out with some po uh, post of PhDs and MS and maybe post-doctorate fellowship. So, all I'm to do is I'm to try here and there. So, is mein jo difficulty part hai, kapil, as you said, difficulty part, because the moment I'm doing PhD, I know that this this fellow is doing in this, this fellow is also doing this. So I'll be knowing uh, which professors are working in which area. So difficult part is what I want to tell you a little bit about it. Because we look at PhD, we look at this guy in PhD, I have done it, so apply it. No doubt, there are hundreds of people we find out and there are two or four people. So post-doctorate, the search in post-doctorate, how that search is different from the search of PhD? So, 
the first thing is that in phd professor needs to hold a small amount of funding as compared to the funding in the uh, funding for a phd post post doc fellow actually so the amount of funding is big and uh, <coughs> the other thing is that uh, when somebody hires for a post doctoral fellowship he or she should have that kind of project where a post doctoral uh, research is required, required. Mm -hmm. okay so that is the basically sometimes uh, there are many professors who don't hire post docs actually ha ye 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 point bahut important hai kyunki aapne ek mention kiya tha bhi ke main yeah. jo project proposal bhi likhta hu yes so yes har professor yes. mere ko lagta hai usko log nahi chahiye post doctoral fellow jo proposal yes. likhte ho shayad that is also yes. one of the reason yes yes hmm. so the difficult part is you know like finding i think the difficult part is finding the people actually who <laughs> who basically can hire you actually hmm. so that is not basically yeah hmm. अब इसे रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन एज आई टोल्ड यू कपिल वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ सीरीज ऑफ दिस वीडियोस इन वन सीरीज ओनली वन क्वेश्चन के ऊपर डेप्थ में जाएंगे इसी से एक रिलेटेड पार्ट है कि डिफिकल्ट है एंड एक पॉइंट बहुत अच्छा आपने बताया कि पीएचडी तो हर प्रोफेसर को आता है लेकिन पोस्ट डॉक्टरेट हर प्रोफेसर के पास नहीं होते एंड आई नो द प्रोफेसर्स हु आर हैविंग पोस्ट डॉक दे आर हैविंग सो मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स आल्सो आई मीन दिस गाइस आर मे बी दिस गाइस आर मोर इनटू प्रोजेक्ट डूइंग एंड इंडस्ट्री प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड एवरीथिंग तो ऐसे प्रोफेसर ढूंढना इज अ डिफिकल्ट चैलेंज दैट इज नंबर 1 मेरा दूसरा क्वेश्चन कपिल आपसे ये है कि आप तो आईआईटी रोपड़ के हैं देयर इज अ वेरी गुड इंस्टीट्यूट इन इंडिया एंड यू हैव डन अ वेरी गुड वर्क अब ऐसे बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स हैं इंडिया में दोस हु आर डूइंग देयर पीएचडीज फ्रॉम एनआईटीज फ्रॉम ट्रिपल आईआईटीज फ्रॉम अदर कॉलेजेस लाइक यू नो रेप्यूटेड कॉलेजेस लाइक थापर इंस्टीट्यूट यू नो इन पंजाब देन जादवपुर यूनिवर्सिटी इन बंगाल वी नो राइट सो ऐसे भी बहुत से इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं जो अच्छे इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं बट देयर नॉट आईआईटीज में भी if a student is doing good phd work and a student can do good phd work there are good faculty everywhere so agar usne acha kaam kiya hai to kya uski post doctorate fellow milne mein uska college ya uska nir ranking college is a criteria yeah i would i would like to explain uh, this answer this question little bit detail yes sometimes uh, uh, it might be it might be you know like uh, a case where uh, somebody is looking for people only from iit or okay. from the top universities mm -hmm. but that is not the case everywhere it, mm -hmm. it just might be a few percent small percentage of the people who are looking for these people this kind of mm -hmm. uh, but definitely we we already have some an ir ranking in india and mm -hmm. while we are you know basically writing to somebody we can always mention that i i graduated from a such a college who is basic, which is basically you know an f ranking 34 25 10 or just like i used to mention mm. so uh, there are people but i would say that if you uh, basically approaching somebody and who is having a similar kind of research interest mm. then he will be interested in knowing about your work mm. and if you can justify that you have published some amount of work so bs so phd Uh, phd basically you you have to justify you have learned enough actually okay. because when you are going to do postdoc you will be having a responsibility of publishing paper yes so that you have to demonstrate you have you have you will be having the uh, responsibility to to lead the group actually so that that so there are some things which you need to demonstrate okay. so writing publications uh, having uh, you know uh, in depth knowledge of your subject area mm. and uh, what is basically what has basically done and what is what is need to be done in that area mm -hmm. so there are some things which uh, professor will ask you mm -hmm. uh, but definitely this is not a criteria which uh, i would mention here if somebody is from nit or uh, i used to think about that uske credentials zyada important hain credentials is very important the learning is also important mm -hmm. you have to demonstrate that you have learned enough that you can be hired as a postdoc fellow mm -hmm. so uh, when i was in iit roopad i used to always think like i am from iit roopad which is you know uh i don't know if people heard the name of hydro or not not but i will tell you in reality uh people just care about the iit only they don't care about whether it is bombay IIT delhi they, they only bother about iit tag and they people uh, people know iit very well actually when i came to uk i have been hearing people yeah yeah i know about iit indian so this, indians are professors yeah. indians are students are everywhere so and there are there are some people from nit who are basically doing better than the iitians mm. so you know sometimes you need to uh, you know sell sell yourself yes yes that yes. is so post i would uh, come to that point uh, post doctoral is about selling yourself you are you have basically evolved as a product mm. and that you need to sell yourself <laughs> this is what i know 
Mm. And your job is done actually. Mm. Chalo, that's wonderful. So I must say, Kapil, we need to now sum it up. And uh, the first question we have answered is getting PH uh, postdoctoral fellowship difficult? Answer is yes, certainly. But people are getting it and you should get it. And everybody who is determined, mm. let me put it in a positive way, in this way. If somebody is determined, तो उसको मिलने के चांस होते हैं और पीएचडी मिल भी पोस्ट डॉक्टर मिल भी जाता है सो एक वर्ड में अगर आंसर करना हो कितने मंथ की फाइट होती है पोस्ट डॉक फॉलो मिलना जनरली इट इज अ फाइट या जनरली इट इज अ फाइट ऑफ सम पीपल आर लकी लाइक मी नो डोंट गो आई एम नॉट आस्किंग फॉर लकी आई एम आस्किंग व्हाट एवरेज पीपल लाइक मी नॉट लकी गाइस लाइक यू कवल सो आई आई गॉट आई गॉट माय पोजीशन विद इन 20 डेज हम्म so i i filled the form and you know mm. uh, after one week it was interview and after two weeks i got the <laughs> yes okay so that is amazing but yeah uh, i have seen people from very good uh, very good institutes like iit delhi they are struggling for postdoc so it's about the timing actually mm. so you you are some professor and you you have written some grant but that mm. grant is not approved but you are working in the area which i am seeking in postdoc in so mm. how can you hire me mm. you are waiting for some grant actually so that is basically some things finding postdoc you need to be patient actually Okay. i have seen people struggling for the like 6 to 7 months is a general general period mm -hmm. but it can maximum it can take up to one year but but there are ways yeah, yeah there are ways to yeah there are ways to save your time actually okay wonderful so uh, dr kapil uh, thanks a lot for your uh, uh, half an hour i must say and i'll keep on popping i'll keep on bothering you and we'll complete this entire series and we'll inform students about post doctorate fellowship and in our first video we said post doctorate fellowship getting is difficult i hope when we sum up this series we conclude that no getting it is not difficult we are making it simple now so that is i wanted to mention one last line uh, just like we uh, we prepare for iit je one hmm. year or two year before yes. because after 12 years yes. and we prepare start start preparing for gate after like before hmm. one or two years Mm. So post doctor is also like that. We have to prepare at least six months or seven months before so that we save our time. When you are in your final year of PhD, then I think yes, 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 wonderful. Thanks a lot, Dr. Kapil, and I'll catch you again, and we'll go for the next series. Thank you.